In their first face-off in 2010, the race between then-Senator Russ Feingold and Oshkosh businessman Ron Johnson was all about the economy. We were still in the midst of the Great Recession, and the nation's and state's economic woes towered above all else. In fact, during the final debate between Feingold and Johnson, I asked the challenger what posed the greatest threat to our national security. Johnson's answer, the nation's rapidly growing debt. Fast forward to today and the likely rematch between Feingold and Johnson in 2016. This time, Johnson will be the incumbent and Feingold the challenger. But there's likely to be another significant change in the contest. And that is the role of foreign policy in the campaign. More specifically, what to do about the terrorist threat posed by ISIS. Johnson is now the chair of the Senate's Homeland Security Committee. He's calling for a first Gulf War type coalition to crush ISIS in Syria and Iraq. In an interview with me last week on this program, he suggested that as many as 25,000 American troops might be involved in that effort. Feingold has called for greater funding and sharing of intelligence information to combat the terrorist threat worldwide. But each candidate will have to answer some hard questions about their positions. Johnson about whether his call for American boots on the ground is out of step with the wishes of a war-weary American public. Feingold about whether his vote against the Patriot Act as a senator makes his call for more and better intelligence gathering ring hollow. That's not to say that the state of the economy and issues like the income gap, wage stagnation, and Obamacare still won't be front and center. But unlike 2010, the U.S. role in the world and the fight against terrorism won't be far behind. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Mike Goucher, and I'll see you again next week on Upfront. You can see today's program on our website. Just click on the Upfront section of WISN.com.